it's Mega Mailbag time. Look at my stuff I've got here. This is a review item, so I was checking that one. But I don't know what everything else is. We'll find out. Stick around. Let's see. Dip the links for these items down below to my affiliate links. So make sure you check those out if you're interested in buying anything that's in here. I'll get a commission for anything. Oh, is that a screw floating around? What's the screws? Oh, okay. Here you go. It's a housing of some kind. Chinese newspaper. Nicely packaged, I suppose, because it stops it all rubbing together and getting scratched. So, so this is a nice extruded aluminium housing. Two-part housing, which is quite good, and also got the end panels, obviously, and the supplied screws. Although, two, four, six. Six screws. Must be small. Here we go, two more in a packet still. Eight screws, that makes more sense. Now I've got these particular cases as an option. I've got a few different ones coming for my new balls, which I was looking at making. So this will fit in this case pretty much perfectly. And all I've got to do then is put some holes in for the binding posts to come through the top of the case. And we've got a nice test box, which which will be um, guarded and everything will also be shielded. And it'll be a nice, hopefully quiet case for doing these measurements with. So that's what the plan was. So if you haven't seen these boards, I've done some videos on these already. These are my voltage divider boards. This is revision one. I'm currently, as I say this, designing a version two, which is using a buffer stage, electronic buffer stage. So it's actually got a op amp and stuff like that as well, and, and some other associated circuitry to carry a buffered output. So it doesn't matter what meter you're using, it will just work. So they've been tuned to the meter, which this one currently is. Anyway, this is same footprint, so it doesn't matter. I can still use it in the same box. Okay, let's see links for these. These are not nice boxes, look like nice quality boxes, they feel good. We have a bunch of promoter cables. And a sticky foot. Odd. So we've got some little bananas with little clip leads. Two different types, we've got the red and black of this type with the hook clips. Mini grabbers, they call them. It's 4650242 and 240, obviously different colours. And the 3220122, which is obviously the crocodile clip version, and the 120, which is obviously the black crocodile clip version. So these were fairly cheap. I saw these on eBay and I thought I'll grab those because they actually look alright. You know, the amount of times you need a little clip lead to go to something, and just you've got these long wires like my other leads are quite long, you know, they're like a multimeter lead, they're about a meter long or so. And I just want a little short lead. I already have these leads here, right? But let's crocodile each then, which is what I've been using. But I wanted something shorter, and we put a banana plugs on them. Put these up on my cable rack, which is just behind me here. So whenever I need a little short cable, I've got some nice ones. Pomona quality. Here's a box. Now, I think I know what's in here, so I'm going to do my usual guess. I think there's going to be some bags of air with the items on the bottom of the box. Bags of air on top, so there's nothing, there's no actual protection from like, doing that. <laughs> bags of air on top. Oh, they've let me down. Look, oh, for once I've done it right. There's air on the bottom too. That's the first time ever. <laughs> so it's a couple of uh, small hard drives, a 120 gig and a 240 gig hard drive. I just I've run out of small SSDs, so I thought I'll get a couple. You know, they're only cheap. Like I think this one's about 40 bucks. This one's about 50 bucks, and like fairly cheap drives. But because I didn't have any, I thought I'd get some because. I'm bound to need one when I don't actually have one in stock. So uh, I've still got these MacBooks to fix and I'm going to need drives for those and I've finished getting around to those amongst all these other projects I've got piling up around me. <laughs> Ear deep. Yeah. But loads of items are waiting to arrive from China and from eBay and stuff. That stuff was taking like two months from eBay and still not arrived yet. It's getting a bit concerning. This is a make magic, sorry, magic DFU boxing, I think it is tonight. How did this age this guy? This is a rubbish bag. What's this for? There. Okay, just a bag. Give it I think it's like a purple screen or something like that for doing iPhone things to get into the firmware. Remember, right? There's a bit of electronics in here. 
probably unless it's fake. But yeah, I think if, if I'm rightly, it's for plugging into an iPhone and you can then do the firmware or do like um, alternative firmware hacks, stuff like that as well. Something like that anyway. Plus, I think it's purple screen, I think they call it. Something like that. I don't know, I've never done it. I guess I'll find out. I just thought it looked interesting. I'll get some. Uh, this is one of a few I've purchased. At least it arrived finally. And it looks like. Oh, it's another one. It's another cable. Diagnostic cable. There you go. DCSD cable. That's what it's called. DCSD. And there's another version of the same thing, basically, inside this bag. Purple screen cable, see? There you go. That's what it says over there. So it's just a different version of this one. I thought it gets different versions in case they worked slightly differently in different circumstances, or maybe just different systems will behave differently with different ones. Uh, Hedge you my bets, I suppose. Anyway, yeah, if you want to look into this sort of iPhone purple screen stuff, just do a Google search. Um, I stumbled across it a couple of months ago now, and I thought, oh, great, that looks interesting, and I bought a bunch of stuff, and now it's all turned up and thinking, what did I get that for? <laughs> well, it's because of having things like this iPhone sitting here, which I still need to fix, so that's been sitting here for about a month. I really should get onto that. Um, yeah, anyway, and it's also like... Uh, so the one I've got here, idea for you go. I've got that one before the mailbag. Uh, anyway, moving on. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Really? Just loose in a bag? Not even inside another bag? Okay, good for the environment, but really? This bag come open and we've been everywhere. Give me a thumbs up if you like my videos. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe if you like mailbag videos or any other general pair stuff. These are USB A ports. And they finally arrived. It's been about two months, maybe three. It's been a while. So all the same style port. These are basically surface mount parts with um, locators on them. Something like that anyway. Yeah, see a surface mount part. Or is that a board edge? It might be a board edge connector actually. Now I'm actually wondering. These are females, not males. It took ages to arrive. They're probably the right ones now. This one looks all interesting, all sparkly and everything. Can must see my friction look. It's like a mirror. And it's another one. Why do I get two exactly the same? That's odd. <laughs> um, that's weird. It's exactly the same as the other one. Why do I have two? I didn't buy two. Maybe, maybe because of shipping delay, the um, seller sent another one. That happens sometimes, because it got delayed so much, sometimes I'll just resend it without even saying anything, I'll just send another one. Okay, well I've got two of them now. I have to figure out how to use one of them first. If you know how to use these things, have a chat down below in the comments and just let me know, because I've got no experience with it. If you've got any experience, please give me some hints in the comments about how to use them properly, because, you know, I, I really have no idea. Still got a big box to go yet, that review item. Bottom screws for 5S, 6, 6S. 300 pieces mixed. So these are iPhone screws. Oh, of course, it's got those little plastic cards in here. It's really good for acting as spudgers. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of screen screws. There's going at the bottom of the iPhones. Which, um, so when you put the screen on, you've got two screws in the bottom of the iPhone next to the lightning jack. And they go next to that and they hold it all together. Yep, different colours. So I've got different colour ones for different phones. Colours. Those took about probably six weeks, maybe two months to arrive, something like that. But I wasn't actually in a hurry for them. It's just something I wanted to have as part. So when I do get a phone which has got missing screws, then I can put them in. Nothing particularly important. Right, time for the big package. I kind of got a bit torn trying to get my... This only just fit my mailbox. <laughs> it actually a screw sticks up a little bit in the bottom of the mailbox. Well, it wasn't sticking up, but it is now. <laughs> and it caught on the bottom of the bag. I was actually having trouble getting it back out of the mailbox. That's fine, it took me about, took me about a minute to get it out. It's jammed in there. And it's stuck on that screw, and I was, I was kind of coming out halfway and stopping. And that's interesting. I was sort of thinking, why won't it come out? I'll be doing a proper review on this. This is just a preview, I suppose, of what's coming up. Or because I'm so far ahead with my videos, I've got like two months worth of videos already recorded. I'm actually struggling to get stuff sequenced in a nice way. So there's a good chance that you'll see this mailbag video uh, about probably four weeks, three to four weeks after I've done a review video. Quite possibly. So if you see this now, there's likely to be a review video, and if I can, if I if I remember to, I'll stick a link up in the corner up there, pop up, and down in the description. 
it's quite likely that's what's going to happen. Normally I like to do the mailbag videos and then the review in a nice logical sequence, but yeah, anyway. So, what's in here? Oh, look at that. I was actually approached by this company. They actually approached me and said, hey, do you want to look at one of our products? So I might say no. Very nicely packaged. DDS function signal generator. It's a brand new one. It's the, um, I've forgotten what the model number is now. Oh. Some John Tech anyway. John Tech, June Tech, I don't know how you pronounce it. Probably John Tech. PSG 9080 or something, I think it was called. It should be there, though. It's not not there. <laughs> yeah, it's the 9080 apparently. Oh, I'm not going to be off with this. So, we're doing a review video on this. I'm not going to get out the box right now. I'm going to save this unwrapping for the review. Excellent. So, don't forget, this is a review item sent to me at no cost. So, you know, full disclosure, I didn't pay for this. This was gifted to you by the manufacturer. So, anyway, check out that in the view when it comes up. Or in the. Yeah, yeah. Time traveling mailbag. That's what it should be called. Yeah, going back into the past. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Click the bell icon to get notified about new videos. And if you want to have a chat down below, do so in the comments and I'll try and reply if I have time. Depends how busy I am. I'm actually finding it harder and harder to reply to comments these days. I'm just getting so busy with things but um, I usually do try and reply it may not be straight away but anyway have a chat down below in the comments as well not just me you know you can always talk to other people when I talk to me but I will talk to you in the comments if you ask me a question and I can answer it or if I have an answer or if I don't have an answer I can also tell you that too catch you later bye oh yes don't forget I'm planning on giving away an oscilloscope to Patreon supporters right so I'm going to be doing a draw at some point once I get enough Patreons I'm, I'm probably looking at maybe a 50 Patreon threshold. So when I get to 50 Patreons on my Patreon page, which is linked down below in the description, and at the end of this video, probably a card, I think it's down here, I think. Like, yeah, if you, so when I get to 50 Patreons, I'm going to give away one of my spare oscilloscopes. Now, it's one of the ones I've reviewed recently. It's either going to be the Unity or the Handtech. I'm not sure which one yet. It could be, it could be either one of those. Um, I may even give a choice. I don't know. But I'm going to give away to a Patreon only. So if you want a chance to be in that draw, you have to be a Patreon at the time. And I have to reach that threshold of 50 Patreons. So once I reach 50 Patreons, I'll look at giving away a scope. And I'll choose a Patreon for that. I'll do like a random draw thing somehow. I'll figure that out, figure that out at the time. Maybe a list of names or something. If you're interested in that, potentially winning a scope, then consider becoming a Patreon to help support the channel. Because Patreons do help support the channel. You know, they help to buy things in the mailbag. Or bits of test gear to fix, all that sort of stuff. It really does help. So, you know, I know I do kind of say quite a bit, but it's true. A little bit of financial assistance it helps me to buy more things to do videos about, especially test gear. So, the main thing I'm trying to buy is broken test gear so I can do videos fixing them. Now, I've been buying out to buy a few things recently. In fact, yesterday I bought three bits of broken test gear. Three. Yesterday. It's, yesterday was an expensive day. I got a bit carried away. So, I saw three things I wanted on eBay and I made an offer on all three items and all three offers got accepted. So I bought three pieces of Tisky yesterday. Future videos coming. If they ever arrive, of course, because you know the way the postage system is right now. <laughs> anyway, see you next one. Bye bye.